We got something quite funny here today. It's uh, not anime related, but it is definitely something that you will enjoy. Made a whole document and uh, had a lot of fun making this one. What happened? And I'll get into the... I'll show you everything in a moment, but here's the TLDR. There was an artist over on Twitter who made a Captain Marvel redesign. You'll see what that redesign looks like in a moment and uh, got a lot of backlash for it. And now another artist has decided to make their version of uh, Captain Marvel and... It's also quite good. It's quite good. And somehow the people are not offended by the new one yet. I don't think the Tumblrites on Twitter have found it yet. But I have a lot of amazing hot takes from their rage uh, from the first art that was posted. So I'm going to show you guys that. And to be convenient, I've got some of the best hot takes here. Some of the most embarrassing things you'll see. And we're going to start off with something really good. You see, one of the people who made a hot take actually had something very cringy on their Curious Cat. Because I always like to look into these people because they tend to self-project. They tend to all, like have some very disturbing things usually. So I'll show you that and uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. All right, welcome back. So this is the new art. And I'm going to link both these artists in the description if you guys want to go check them out on Twitter. So... There you go. I don't know if she's bouncing the beam off or... Yeah, I think she's bouncing it off. That's a very effective, very impressive use of Captain Marvel's powers right there. And that was apparently spurred on by this art uh, that says a Captain Marvel redesign just for fun. There you go. And this is the one that's going to have a whole bunch of hot takes. So let's scroll down and take a look at said hot takes now, starting with some of the best. Uh, and, and this is the one with the curious cat. Just you wait. So... They say, Gabs says, some people really shouldn't be allowed to draw a woman. And actually, one of our Stand With Vic girls here, cosplayer, check her out, Gothic Sushi, says, I, as a woman artist, you can kindly GTFO and stop telling artists what they can and cannot draw. So get wrecked, get wrecked. And then Gab says, well, actually, this is not a response. This is just something else that Gab said. LMAO, look at the other pigs defending this on the replies puke face puke face anyways support actual artists who know how to draw anatomy especially of women so you know you think this person would definitely respect women right to make a to make a tweet like that uh, totally right but then you go to their curious cat and what's this someone says would you f marry or kill carol natasha and maria you know that game and uh, their response is i have three holes for a reason marry and f them all whoa whoa but you're over here bashing on an artist for their for their art and then you're gonna go make replies like that on your curious cat okay you totally care about the issues that you're uh pretending to care about right i mean you're totally not pretending you really you really care you're not just trying to virtue signal people on twitter for some weird reason because you're a weirdo uh i don't know i don't know let's move on from that one though so that's an interesting one so here's the next one you have akai the reasonable person and jen the weirdo Akai makes some bit here, joking about how people are offended, saying where are her organs, blah, 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 blah. And you'll see this is a recurring theme with these people. On script, as usual, they either, you know, ask why the character is oofulized or, you know, where are her organs? You've never seen a woman before. And they usually have very poor grammar, usually don't know how to use a question mark. You'll see it's a recurring theme on script once again. So here's what Jen says. And uh, my gosh, what is the spelling? What, what are they saying? This is some very weird stuff. Jen says, I'm not like other girls. And then a bunch of weird emojis. Okay, but for real, girl, are you okay? DM me. Okay, that's creepy. I'm sorry. Uh, you're asking them to DM you? You are a weirdo. Get out of here. They continue, though. Uh, are you okay? DM me. Pandering to men ain't right or normal. And I want to support my sisters. Yeah, sure. You just want them in your DMs. You probably creep on them or something. What are you talking about? They say... You're valid, even if you don't pander to men. It's okay. You don't have to call yourself an egalitarian, sis. And then Akai says, It's not pandering. Sadly, it's logic. Fan art is fan art. If people are upset about pictures, they are burning energy on things that don't matter. Might as well chase down every person who writes fanfics because it doesn't represent the character 100% to canon. So there you go. And now we just have various hot takes that are all pretty good as well. So this account is literally men are trash and says, it's not just for fun, it's misogyny. <laughs> it gets a thousand likes. So one thing I've noticed covering all these uh, Twitter things that I've been covering 
their, their likes amount to literally nothing. Like it, it accomplishes absolutely nothing. And then they, I think they even realize that because that's why so many of these people have to go after more hot takes, even ones that get like thousands of likes, 10,000 plus likes. You'll see like the next day, they're back to just making hot takes and most of them don't get any likes and they just keep trying again and again and again because that's how they get happy in life, I guess. They, they, they get satisfied by getting likes on Twitter. That's their dopamine rush. It's really sad, it's like pathetically sad though. Anyways, so Cord Crimson, who's actually Stan with Vic, shouts out, says, either you are a troll or someone hurt you. You should see some art female artists draw. Drawings like this are super tame by comparison. Moving on. So this person, Green Light, says, superhero comic book women are oofulized or hated there's no middle ground uh there's definitely a middle ground what are you talking about there's plenty of characters like that that are not like both of those i'm not gonna go naming off a whole bunch right now but literally uh that's the average are probably in the middle i i would bet you that they say if she isn't oofulized by the producers of the comic book or film she is oofulized by the fans it's sad to see we are seeing just as men's fap content yeah we that's bold have a feeling I have a feeling this person might not be as desirable as they're wanting people to think, you know, saying we, yeah, I don't know about that. Midnight says, no, they say, if you don't agree, it's because you don't want to see what happens out of your bubble. It's undeniable. That's ironic. Talking about bubbles over here. And Midnight says, how about the uh, equally oofulized men in comic books? And then Green says, uh, like 50 Ks in a row here. I'm being a little hyperbolic. It's, I don't know, 20 Ks in a row. When did we start to tell jokes? And then we have a great response from this Waluigi account that says, when you learn how to speak English, just wrecked, absolutely wrecked. Moving on, this uh, Katya person says, is it so hard to draw a woman without oofulizing them? 3,300 likes. <laughs> uh, Christy says, dude, just draw her like a normal human, human being. It's not that hard. This dude says, does she have any organs? With no question mark, you know, there you go. <laughs> All right, dude. This other guy, Ferb, says, Why should a superhero who fights crime be oofly? What does she need big you-know-what for? <laughs> uh, what, what, excuse me? What does that have to do with her being a superhero? Are you implying that uh, superheroes need to look a certain way? Are you discriminating on, on who can be a superhero and what they should look like, you bigot? This is literally a bigoted thing, man. And I love calling them out with that because they like to use that word. But so many of them actually are bigots. This is a bigoted comment right here, man. Uh, at least I can make a strong argument that it is. I'd we'll love to debate this person. Never would happen, though. So then Isabella says, Have you, oh, I don't know, taken biology, anatomy, even life drawing classes? Yeah, women can't ever physically look like this. But I guess you have no problem that she can fly and shoot lasers out of her hands and, like, stuff like that, right? Uh, okay, okay, right. And then Shadow says, This is really tasteless. You should be ashamed. Totally joking. This piece is gorgeous. Thank you for blessing us with your infinitely superior take of the hero. Hey, that's great. And then this weirdo says, uh, gross, <laughs> crying about it. Oh, man, get over yourself. Morgan says, have y'all seen a woman? No question mark. Another uh, person, Steph, says, waste of such great talent, SMH, SMH. And they spell waste like waste. And then they, uh, you know, fix the typo and say waste. Spell it properly. Oh, this person is busy thinking about the anatomy. They're not even typing right. Again, maybe a little self-projection or something there, man. These people, they're so creepy to me. They really are. I'm glad to be behind the screen when I report on this stuff, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to meet these people in real life. Not that I'm worried about, like, you know, self-defense. I can handle myself. But there are people I genuinely wouldn't want to see in person. And to make it even worse, I wouldn't want to, like, be close to them. I feel gross. Like, I bet these people, I bet a lot of these people are just nasty, like, gross individuals. You know what I mean? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'm safe behind my computer screen. It's great. Okay, moving on. Sky Van says, where are her organs? Where are they? <laughs> and then Off says, you know, the, the reasonable response here, drawings don't have organs. Shouldn't even have to point that out. What a weirdo. Thinking of, why, why are you thinking the drawing has organs, dude? And again, you're fine with her flying and stuff. So weird logic. And then again, here you go. On script, Blake says, vital organs, never heard of them. And here you go. Archie, reasonable, says, fictional, non-realistic characters. I've heard of them. Common sense. Do I need to teach you? And again, Dave Oh, man, you're getting a lot of guys here. Says, have you ever seen a woman? <laughs> no, they've never seen a woman, ever. Absolutely not. I mean, that, that's a very rare thing. Never seen it. <laughs> uh, Holly says, women don't look like this. Oh, my gosh. We're almost done here, actually. We're getting, we're getting near the end. These people, are they get boring after a while, you know, because they, they're all the same. All the same script. Do you know what women really look like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't even want to click their profile. Uh, let's see this one. Why are you giving my girl Carol some mad back problems as she has like zero organs? Give Carol her, her organs back. 
CEO says, she has superpowers, dude. She can handle it. And finally, we got this one. Straight men from, oh, from Annie. Straight men scare me. Do y'all, in all honesty, find this hot? No question mark. And then, you know, making a bigoted comment that only straight men would like this art. I don't think that's the case. As a matter of fact, our first example was from the very lovely Gothic Sushi, who is indeed 100% female, 100% woman. She's great. She does great cosplay. I'll link her Twitter in the description too. Why not? Shouts out to Gothic Sushi. So there you go, man. Just a little thread of weirdos here. And hopefully that gave you guys a laugh. But hey, that's all I got in this one. It kind of went longer than I expected, to be honest. So I'm going to do shout outs in the next video. It'll be a bit more brief. And uh, yeah, this one kind of dragged on a little bit. Hopefully you found it fun, though. If you did, please consider sharing the video, liking the video, and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.